Hi, in this video, we are going to be taking a look at the substitution method of dif anti differentiating and integrating. So, this is a two part problem. In the first part, we're asked to explain how we would find the antiderivative of f of x equals minus 5 sine of log x over x. And the first thing we want to note is that we find the antiderivative of a function by taking the indefinite integral, which I'm going to rewrite a little bit in order to better see the respective pieces of it. So I'm pull out this minus five, and what we're left with this expression here. Now, we need to find a candidate for substitution, and a natural candidate for substitution is uh, natural log of x. So why is that? That's because I don't know how to anti-differentiate sine of log x, but I could anti-differentiate sine of u readily. And the derivative of log x is 1 over x, which is itself present in this problem. So let's, uh, let's try that out and see if that makes for a reasonable choice. If we let u be log of x, then what we have is du dx is 1 over x, and so consequently du is 1 over x dx. All right, and then so when I look back to my original uh, function, I see that I in fact have a natural log there, so that's my u. I also have a one over x dx, so that's my du. And if I make the appropriate substitutions, then there will no longer be any x expressions left, there will only be u expressions. So I've made a good choice. So, I can rewrite this original thing to be minus 5 um, sine of u du, which uh, the antiderivative of is 5 cosine of u plus c with respect to u. Now, it's worth noting that our original function here was a function of x. Uh, its antiderivative should likewise be a function of x. And so we once again note that u is itself log x. So we can finally rewrite this expression as 5 cosine of log of x plus c. All right. Now to the second part of the problem, where we are explaining how we would evaluate uh, the definite integral from 4 to 6 of x squared e to the 2x cubed. And once again, I am looking for uh, an appropriate choice for substitution. And I note that uh, e to the u as a readily anti-differentiable expression, and the derivative of 2x cubed is going to be a quadratic, it'll be an expression of x squared, and this is a quadratic expression, so that is a reasonable choice. So, testing that out, if I let u be 2x cubed, I have that du dx is 6x squared. Now note that I don't actually have a 6x squared expression in my original integral. I have x squared, I have dx, but I have no 6s, right? And so it makes sense then when I rearrange this to rewrite this as 1 6 du is equal to x squared dx. Now I do have an x squared and a dx as we noted. And so I have x squared and dx, 
I have u. And so I can rewrite this expression as an integral from x equals 4, x equals 6. Remember, because we've changed from x's to u's, we are say our same bounds probably don't work. So we want to specify that whatever these bounds were, they were terms of x, not in terms of u. Then I have my e to the u du. Now, the antiderivative of e to the u is itself plus c, and we can run this bound from x equals 4 to x equals 6, and remembering that my original u was 2x cubed, I can rewrite that as e to the 2x cubed. Now, as an x expression, I can just say 4 and 6, and this will give me e to the 2 times 6 cubed minus e to the 2 times 4 cubed as the value of that anti uh, of that integral. Now, one could certainly uh, compute this or evaluate more specifically what these exponents mean, but any calculus uh, has already been completed. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.